Yo. So welcome to part five of this series. And um, yeah, uh, let's just jump right into it, okay? Um, so here in our previous tutorial, we worked on the nodes, but uh, when I scrub, we can see that it stays way too long here before it goes around the body. So let's go ahead and fix that, shall we? Uh, so I'm gonna click on the bone for the nose and I'm just going to scrub and see where it, um, where that where that delay is. Okay, so let's go to this frame and let's move it over to the left because it's supposed to be um, moving along with the face like so. So that looks a bit better. Okay, so that could work. Let's also fix. Okay, so it's it's good around this side. Um, all right, that looks yeah, that looks really good. Uh, let me play. Okay, so that could work. Uh, let me save. Uh, and then the next thing that we want to do now is um, to switch out the nose for, uh, well, we have two different no nose shapes. So we just wanna make that switch whenever it's supposed to happen. So maybe when it's, when the nose is maybe here, right? We want to go to the nose layer so search within your layers panel for your nose layer or click on the nose here within the um, space here. Uh, and then let me go down into the properties and go to Z range position. And I'm actually going to go to the previous frame because we are changing this. Basically we are switching out the, the shape. So we want to add a keyframe before and then made that change at the keyframe right after that one, okay? So let me go to the previous frame here. Let me just change the value because once we change the value, uh, and a keyframe will automatically be added. And then we can change that back to zero. And then make our way down right on the next frame and then change this to one. So all we did was to switch out the, the nose. And we can see that it's a bit hidden there. So what I'm gonna do is let me go back and go forward. So I'm gonna go here, click on the move control point. I'm just going to, you know, go move left and move right. Um, just to make sure that a keyframe has been added, applied there and then move to the right and then click on this and just move it outwards so we can see. All right, and we can also rotate this so this looks a bit better. So if if I click on the rotate control point, <clears throat> I'm just gonna go back to the previous frame because remember we want to, um, it's going to change its state. So we want to make sure that we have a keyframe um, applied before it makes that change, right? So before and after. So go back to the previous frame, click on the rotate point, and I'm just gonna press the down arrow key to make a, a, a keyframe and then press the up arrow key just to add, add that keyframe and then move to the right. And then now we can move this, rotate it how we want it to go. And that looks okay to me. So let me scroll back. Let me actually turn on the preview, turn it off, play. Okay, that looks good. But we'll have to do the same thing around this side as well. Okay, uh, so when it gets to maybe about here. Yeah, this might not be the correct location, but we'll work with um, here. Um, so yeah, so let's press this one right here. I'm just going to go back forward just to see how this lines up. Actually, let me come down here and um, add a keyframe here for the move control point. So let me just left, right. Um, again, when I say left and right, I'm pressing the, the arrow keys on the keyboard. Okay, so let me go to the next frame and move this out here. And uh, I'm gonna click on the rotate point, go to the previous frame, just 
move the rotate control point so we can have a keyframe and move it back then when it's here i'm going to just rotate it up and then move it a bit out all right um so let me scrub okay so it's doing a bit of a weird movement there but no need to worry we can fix that all we have to do is just to make sure that when we are here it goes back to here or actually we can let me move the z zip keyframes forward and then when it gets to here i'm going to let me let me go to the previous frame now um keep in mind that most of this is trial and error you'll have to observe what you're doing you will make mistakes but um just stick to it Yo, come until you get it done so let me move to the right and then maybe when it's here i want it to switch to this one right here okay uh no the the issue with this is that it looks very weird all right looks very weird and the nose is obviously um, way too far from the center point here so let's go ahead and fix that all right and it's all in how we did it previously but no need to worry about that um, we shall fix it as best as we can uh, so for that we're going to use the bone so let me click on the nose bone okay and uh, when it's when it's mm, when it's here i'm gonna make sure that i have a keyframe for this nose bone so i'm just gonna press the left r key then the right r key um then when it's when it's here or actually let me go to when it's here it's actually the nose is actually supposed to be somewhere here but I'm going to actually when it gets here I'm gonna have the nose just move over all right it's all an illusion and then BAM like so okay that looks yeah that looks okay to me let me move this over a bit yeah and let's um, click on preview wait till this loads then we can turn that off and then I'm gonna click play by the way uh, if you notice I rarely click the play button here I always use the shortcut key which is Control P to play I find it gives me you know more realistic or um, what do you call it now more real-time uh, results <clears throat> yes yeah, so I get results in real time versus when I click on the play button maybe it's just me or my mind but um, yeah I always tend to do that so yeah that looks okay to me and uh, let me click on save right um, and next we will be looking at the ears now um, we should have gotten the, the note the, the ears finished in this video um, but I think I'm gonna wait until the next video because I we're now on maybe eight or nine minutes and I really don't want to make this long uh, I realize that when I make the videos way too long on YouTube I can't link to my previous videos you know like at the end of the the, the videos I can't like add the the, vi the the previous videos depending on um, how large the video is so those first those first parts to this the the series um i'm not able to like link back to them so when you watch the videos and you look at the end you won't see okay previous tutorial or next tutorial right i have to link to another tutorial if you watch the video you will you will understand what i'm saying so i'm gonna end this here and then um we'll move on to the next part in the next video so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video Yo. Yo.